Hey there guys, this is Aaron again doing a special video with the Nexus One. I'm going to be doing a special video called Browser Wars. I will be comparing the three awesome browsers on the uh, Nexus One. Um, this isn't going to include all of them because I know there's going to be browsers out there that I haven't gotten. But I'm going to be doing the uh, default browser, the Dolphin browser, and Opria, Opera, whatever, that was released yesterday, I think. Then I will also be doing a comparison with my friend's iPod Touch second generation um, against the default browser in the Nexus One. They're both using the WebKit um, engine, so it should be a pretty good competition. So let's get started with the default browser. Alright, so here we've got the default browser on the Nexus One. Pretty much, it's uh, pretty standard, pretty much like any browser built into a device. Um, it has the pension zoom, which was brought with the update for the Nexus One. It has pretty much the standard features of any web browser. Um, bookmarks, uh, create a new window, show the windows that are open, more options, refresh. So we'll go to more options. Pretty much you can select text, find on page, bookmarks, page info, share pages, downloads, settings. Check out the settings real quick. So basically you can change the text size if you uh, don't have too good eyes. Um, zoom level. Um, pages and overview, text encoding, block pop up, uh, pop pop ups, <laughs> um, load images, auto fit pages, and just a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, now I guess we will go to the Dolphin browser, which was the first browser to have multi touch. So here we are in Dolphin, the first browser that supported multi touch. Like I said before, multi touch, um, like the iPhone. Um, this one is a little bit different than the default browser. It has a lot more options. Also, you can see that the little um, icon at the top. RSS feeds embedded, um, so you can subscribe to RSS feeds with this browser. Um, this is a ad-supported browser, so in the um, settings and stuff, you'll see ads. But other than that, it's a pretty good browser. Uh, it, like I said, it supports multi-touch, and you can have multiple tabs, pretty much like all the other browsers. Um, as you can see, there's the ads. <laughs> um, it, del it supports delicious bookmarks. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, favorites, uh, recently viewed pages, uh, Google uh, search and stuff, Gmail, Maps, stuff like that. And then we have, I guess this is a to-do list, or read it later. Um, info about the browser. Um, so let's go on to the Opria Opera browser. Alright, so let's launch Opria. This was released yesterday, um, I think, or the day before. And it's actually a pretty nice browser. It does. I'm, I'm not having too good of luck with the zooming, but other than that, it is a very nice browser. So we'll load up the webpage that we've been going to, netsfester.com, and we will go... Boom. So it pretty much doesn't have any zoom options. I thought there was going to be a zoom button down here as it shows in the screenshots, but um, as you can see, I don't see one. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe uh, I have to do something to get it. So if you know any more than me, leave a comment and tell me. Um, it has multiple tabs, which I think they did very nice. You can open more tabs just by hitting the plus button. Um, and you can hit the little X button to get rid of them. And it shows how many tabs you have open. So as I have two right now, probably can't see that. So there we go. Um, can refresh the uh, page, go back and forth. And then we also have options, just like the other browser. They have bookmarks. You can synchronize the bookmarks with a service on here. Saved pages, um, downloads, settings, pretty much just like any other browser. Um, change the font size, load images, the mobile view, full screen. You can have a full screen browsing. Um, yep. Yeah, oh, Oprah link, that's the uh, bookmark synchronization. And then we have uh, how it'll connect, the network test, and start page links. So, I mean, overall, it's a really nice browser. Um, it does have a few problems that I'd really like to see fixed. Like I said, I don't see a uh, Zoom thing, which isn't too good when I'm on web pages that are pretty big. Let's go just run on one of these web pages and see what happens. Um, I guess I really wouldn't need to zoom in because this is built for a mobile browser, but uh, it's kind of nice. And also Firefox is coming for the Android platform. So you can look forward to that if you like the Firefox 
um, browser. Um, now I guess we will go on to the speed test between the default browser and the iPhone or iPod Touch. Okay, so here we have the iPod Touch and the Nexus One. The Nexus One does have a faster processor, but they're both using the WebKit toolkit for both browsers, the Safari browser and the default browser on the Nexus One. So we're going to try to go at about the same time. These both have been loaded on both browser or both um, phones and products before. So we'll see which one goes faster and go now. And so the Nexus One did um, finish first, but it wasn't too far behind on the uh, Safari browser. So you asked which one was faster. I'm probably going to say the Nexus One, but like I said, the processor is a lot faster. Um, maybe not as much on the iPhone 3GS, but I think it was a pretty good comparison. And uh, if you want my opinion on what browser for the Nexus One you should use, I really like the default browser, and I think Opria Opera has a lot of potential. And I think it will be a really good browser after they get it um, more developed. And when Firefox comes out, I'll definitely try that out and probably make a video about it. Um, if you like this video and want to see more, um, uh, I won't always be doing these crappy videos where I'm recording the phones and stuff. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And thanks, Wyatt, for letting me borrow your iPod. Goodbye.